Today, we need to talk about Jungkook and BTS's recent huge message for ARMYs on a billboard. We need to get into Jimin's believed message for his goodbye to the military and what people are saying the date is. And then we have Jimin giving us a message. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hey or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab your dumplings. Hey, Spilling Mug Marge, and let's go. BTS has recently dropped so much content lately out of the blue, and it's quite shocking to a lot of armies. Definitely a lot of people were not expecting a lot of content to drop until maybe BTS returned. BTS released a photo about a week or so where they showed a board, and each block had a specific date in which Hybe will drop something. BTS related. Some of the blocks talk about exactly what they will drop and others are left for debate and made to be a mystery. Usually how they do these things are the less exciting things like the small photo teaser or those things they'll keep a mystery and then the more exciting things like a video or something like that they usually will tell you when that drops. And then that is smart because it gets the fandom talking about what it could be and it makes the board with all the dates look really strong because it has all very exciting things or mystery things on there. BTS then decided to drop their Festa. If you are unaware of what BTS Festa is, they drop this every year around June to celebrate their debut anniversary. It's similar to a lot of the different content they drop and it's just a way to keep up with ARMY. BTS drops a ton of quote unquote new content every year or so. A lot of it is DVDs that you can buy and I said new content in quotes because it's not actually new. It's pre-recorded videos of BTS members backstage at concerts and new to us because we haven't seen it, but not new in general. BTS's festas are actually recorded in somewhat real time, usually only a few months before the release of it. But in this case, for this year, I believe the festa, as well as all the teasers and stuff for the festa, was recorded maybe a month before Jin enlisted, since we see him in all of that stuff. Usually the festas are the boys sitting around and chatting about the year and everything they did during the year. This is similar to a live stream, except with a live stream, we are not guaranteed that all the boys will be together. But with the festa, we are. This festa hit armies differently because it was the first one where the boys were actually not all together when it dropped. So so of course it was emotional, but the team made sure to add some cute and funny moments in there so it didn't seem too emotional. Hive also released something called an ending mint. If you're not aware of what that is, it's basically a moment at the end of a concert or show and the performers directly talk to the audience. Jimin got the opportunity to talk about his solo album Face and wanted to thank armies and let them know that he was extremely thankful that everyone had received the album so well and it touched ARMY's heart. But not only did he say that, Hybe included some of the bloopers and we got to see him mess up the speech and get nervous on camera. It's kind of awkward when talking to a camera, especially if there's people around you because you're literally kind of talking to yourself. But of course, you have to understand that literally no one is judging you if you talk to a camera because everyone wants you to do it and finish. Jimin also added that it was time to say goodnight after saying thank you, and I think this was a good way to end it. A lot of armies stay up to watch whatever BTS will put out, and then they'll stay up really late. It does kind of work out because I'm sure it's better to watch BTS when they're supposed to be sleeping than let BTS interfere with their day job or school. However, if you don't sleep, then you can't do either of those things either. So make sure to rest after watching some BTS stuff. Now, going back to the board where Hybe had posted a couple of dates, June 2nd appeared to be on a billboard. And guess what? It was. The billboard was in Korea and it was right on the Coex Mall. This mall has one of the best billboards in the city and maybe the world. It's huge and probably expensive, but aside from that, the billboard is just where a lot of people can go and see. This was definitely worth putting on the board of dates because armies like to buy out billboards for BTS. They like to put BTS's faces on buses, big buildings, to celebrate birthdays and any big occasion, and that is usually meant as a gift to BTS. So so it's quite cool and awesome to have BTS gift ARMY a big billboard. The billboard not only was purple and had all the members celebrating their festa, but each of the boys also made sure to sign the big billboard thing and leave their message for everyone to see. 
Jin wrote a very simple army I love you. J-Hope wrote army has armed, please continue to army in the future too. Jimin wrote the beginning and end of BTS is army. Suga said BTS heart army 10th anniversary, let's continue to be happy from this point onward too. Taeyang said Borahe, RM said Bangtang army 10th anniversary, Bangtang raised by army, and then Jungkook said army are you sleeping. I'm sure all of these messages have brightened any armies walking by and perhaps there's some armies who pass by this mall after school after a bad day and this message cheers everyone up. It's cute that Jungkook wrote the sleeping thing as a lot of international armies are probably seeing photos of the billboard and seeing the sleeping message which was then smart of Jungkook to include that. People also had a bit of a different interpretation to that line to talk about Jungkook saying and asking armies to not sleep on BTS. Jin and some of the other BTS members had long talked about not forgetting BTS while they're away and enlisting. Recently, it was alleged that Jin will be on Suga's talk show and in the trailer, Jin asked armies to not forget everyone. So people believe that the message Jungkook is giving with his quote on the billboard is asking armies to not forget BTS and to not sleep on BTS. In other words, asking armies not to leave BTS. There's a lot of newer groups now that are really awesome, groups that are definitely more active. So many people in the fandom can choose to leave BTS right now for those groups as those groups are active now. But we must stay supporting our boys and and the fact that they're releasing all this stuff and still releasing material of all the boys together shows that the boys are not done yet. We are also expecting that Take Two, which is BTS's new song, will be released June 9th, midnight in Eastern Time. So we have that to look forward to and something with all seven of the boys in it. Of course, I will definitely be reacting to this music video and or just the audio over on Patreon when it drops. So if you're interested in checking that out and have a lot of fun streaming it, then make sure to check that out. I will link the Patreon in the description. There is still a $1 tier that's open, so if you're interested, make sure you check it out. Of course, as emotional as that might be, we have hit the mother of emotions when I talk about Jimin today. Jimin recently just released a letter to ARMY. It's a song that he wrote as a letter to thank ARMY called Dear ARMY. My interpretation of this song and meaning is that Jimin acknowledged is that he struggles with expressing himself, but he wants to convey his feelings sincerely. He expressed his desire for fans, us, to be happier and assures us that he will be here to support us when we need it. He emphasizes the importance of our bond and reminisces about the early days of us, ARMY, and Jimin's relationship. Jimin hopes that our connection to him will last forever and appreciates the moments we have shared. He asks us to stay by his side as we have believed in him and inspired him to do better. Despite the uncertainties in the future, possibly referring to the military, he reassures us that we all will face it together. Jimin acknowledges the potential cliche nature of his words, but promises to convey them genuinely. This of course leads to the conversation about Jimin and his military enlistment. Is he going soon? And this is sort of a goodbye message to ARMY. Jimin talking about an uncertain future can be referring to how unsure the future can be with everyone's schedule. BTS coming back together is very likely to happen, but the members having different schedules with their solo or if they want to release another one before coming back together is another thing. They also have to take in account the nature of the service and if the military wants to keep them longer. That is very unlikely, but can happen on a, the very small off chance that they need them for whatever reason. But if BTS does not accept, the military legally cannot force them. But would they voluntarily want to do it if the military calls? Who knows? People also think that Jimin might enlist within the next few weeks and we might hear something from Big Hit soon. Because every time we get good news, it's followed up with a hello, this is Big Hit Entertainment. And then coupled with the saddest news you've ever heard. And people think that news will probably be Jimin enlisting. Jimin has had his solo done and he has done his promo for it and it would be about time for Jimin to go, especially if everything is done. People are saying it would probably be RM and Jimin together and that is very likely. And if they both opt to enlist, they can come back together faster as well. My issue with the whole idea that the members want to enlist right now so they can come back faster is that it doesn't give the members a bit of breathing room to pursue what they may want to pursue or never got a chance to pursue because they were thinking of BTS. Of course, the members probably want to come back together and be together as a group again, but you're also only young once. So for example, if members want to appear in a TV show before they're older, they should be allowed 
such opportunities before they have to be in a group again and lose that opportunity. But I will also admit this mindset is not very typical of where they're from, and Asian culture is very much about collectivism versus individualism. So their dreams are likely to be a group again. As for Jimin enlisting, people think that they have a date, but we don't have anything confirmed yet. It could be within a few weeks though. I do personally believe it's possible, but that is my conspiracy. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.